During school time, we all endure the daily horror that is a traffic jam on the nation's highways and byways. For many, the harsh reality is that if you're not out of your house by 6 a.m., 6.30 at the latest, there's very little chance that you will get to work for 8 o'clock, regardless of where you live. It's tough enough if you have your own transportation, but what about if you need to rely on public transport? Many parents, regardless of where they live in Trinidad and Tobago, have found themselves spending more time on the road and less quality time with their families because of the traffic situation. Nicole lives in Diamond Vale. A single mom with two teenage daughters, she admits that after spending over an hour in traffic on the way home in the evening, she isn't exactly fun to be around. I need half an hour to an hour of my time because I've just endured a day at work. I just endured traffic coming home. I know I have stuff to do, I have my kids to see about, I have food to cook. And before I start all that, I need to wind down. So you need that half an hour to an hour for yourself and relax and then you can pick up from there. You will be fine, hopefully. Sagan, Nicole's eldest, admits that she tries to get her homework done at school because the journey home can be quite frustrating sitting in gridlock. We leave from Woodbrook, um, like, so we're on foreshore and it's like rail, rail combustion and traffic and so from Woodbrook, from the foreshore to Dago Martin, you have traffic and then from by Westmore, they have more traffic so it's eased up by where um, by lower by KFC style ease up there so but by the time we reach home it's like half five or five or something so it'll take like an hour and a half to reach home or something. Like many other parents around the country, Nicole has managed to arrange transport for her daughters in the morning. A special vehicle will meet them and their schoolmates at a particular time to take them to school, reducing the pressure of actually finding transport on a morning. But some of Sagan's school friends from Providence Girls in Belmont are not as lucky. We have girls coming from Maracas, St. Joseph, from Coover, from San Fernando, from um, St. Joseph. Well, like well, far places, you know. Mm -hmm. But they normally reach the school early because they like have to wake up like at four or something to leave. Because they say the traffic will be real bad by the time they get like six or five or something. So they have to like wake up early and reach. They reach the school like psh, before me. So, so right now, school's out. The children are on holiday, and the road situation, while it's still pretty bad, is not as bad as it could be. Key government ministers have told us of plans to widen the transportation options and improve existing infrastructure in order to ease the situation. But those will be a long time in coming. In the interim, families are going to have to work hard to handle the stress that comes with facing gridlock day in and day out. One of the side effects of a booming economy and wealthier citizens who can afford to motor along the nation's highways and byways. Jesse May Vento, Gael News.